fun vlog. I'm so excited for this vlog because we are spending the week in Rhode Island with Aiden's family. If you guys don't know, Aiden is from here. He's from Providence, but would grow up coming to this beach specifically, Watchell Beach. And it is just such a special beach. It is just so quiet and peaceful. And I feel so blessed that I get to come here with him now because it's just a very special place for him. And so it feels good getting to come back, visit his grandma here and everything. And so I thought it'd be fun to just vlog for the next week that we're here. We're doing a lot of different things a lot of beach days a lot of just hanging out with family and so i don't know how much this vlog is going to be a lot of like me talking walking around that kind of thing because it is a family vacation and obviously we're trying to chill and just hang out too but i do kind of want to make this travel vlog ask if you're ever wanting to visit here some of our favorite places to come, some things that we do. And so I thought it'd be special just to share kind of snippets here and there. But today is Friday, but we got in last night. We flew into Boston. I'm gonna go ahead and cue the footage of us whenever we landed, going through Boston, and then getting to here. went to Mike's Pastries, which has the best, maybe not the best, I don't know. There are quite a few pastry places in Boston, but they have really good cannolis, a lot of good sweets. So we stopped there and we also had to visit Bova's, which is another great place. I think they have like pizza. They have a bunch of different bakery items, but we also got some sweets there too. And then we ate at the Boston Sale Loft, which we also love it here. I really like their clam chowder, but we all just got salads because we're feeling something a little bit lighter. Friday. I went for a run this morning, which is so nice. It's about in the 70s here, so it feels so good running with just cool ocean breeze. Also walked over to a coffee shop called Sip and grabbed a coffee. It's nearby. We're staying basically right in the heart of Watch Hill, right on the main street. So this condo is the perfect spot. It's so nice just being so close to everything, so close to the beach too. I'll cue a tour of the place that we're staying at right here. Okay, someone is working on the lawn right now, so you might hear that in the background, but here is a tour of the place. When you walk in, you just go through this door and ignore all of our clothes right there, but this is actually where Aiden and I are staying. It's really sweet. Aiden's mom actually gave us the larger bedroom, which is really nice, and the best part is when you look over here, you can just straight up see the water over here. Just so nice this morning, we just heard all of the waves. It's just so beautiful getting to have this straight up in your room. So nice. And then over here, there's the bathroom. It's nice that each bedroom here has its own bathroom too. We've got the closet space. And then you go through here and this is kind of the main room. This is where my mother-in-law is staying. And then it's again, just so pretty over here. This is the living room and has the same kind of window set up over here where you can see the beach over there. And then arguably the best part about this condo is the deck space. You just walk out right here and you're just right on the main road. Have awesome patio chairs and yeah, it's just so quiet and peaceful over here. You can basically walk to everything because this is the main strip. And then there's a street over there. And yeah, if I can find it, I'll link it down below, but we didn't book this. It was Eden's family, so I'm not sure exactly what the link is. And it's also just really sweet getting to see all the New England architecture and everything. That's something that I always loved when I first started dating Aiden, getting to come up here and visit places like this. Today is Friday and I actually have quite a bit of work to do and Aiden also has to work today. So we're gonna be working a lot today, but also just walking around, hanging out. And then I think we're seeing his grandma too this evening. So definitely will still be fun, but I'm excited to just share the next week we're gonna be here till friday so hopefully this will be a nice long vlog i'm thinking but we'll see how much footage i get but i need a shower i'm just wearing my workout stuff this is my favorite amazon sports bra but i'm wearing a sports bra underneath it and then just some lululemon align leggings but i'm gonna shower get some work done i have a call at 11 30. i'm about to take my seed and i always bring this with me when i travel now my digestion always gets thrown off when i travel especially when i'm just like eating things that i don't normally eat and different routines but i can't tell you 
how much my probiotic, this is a symbiotic, so it's a pro and a prebiotic, has helped. I always bring this with me when I travel because everything stays regular and I know it's kind of TMI, but when my digestion is all regular and normal, I can just enjoy trips so much more instead of feeling like constipated and bloated. I just hate feeling that way, especially when you're on the beach. And so I wanted to share this. I do have a code with them. I'll link it down below. But now I just also finished getting ready. I wanted to show a quick outfit. I did these bubble braids that I've been seeing everywhere. I think they're so cute and fun just because my hair is a little bit dirty, but I didn't really want to wash it today. This is my crop top from Urban Outfitters. I feel like I wear this shirt all the time, but it's just nice for layering. And then my linen top is from Zara. And then these shorts are from Urban Outfitters. Again, I show these all the time, but I love them because they're the perfect length to cut off on them. And I think they're just really cute and comfy. I wanted to share that something I am so thankful to have while traveling because anytime I take travel content, I take any videos or anything like that, I always take them on my phone. It's crazy how good the iPhone videos are. Like this is so much better than my other cameras that I used to bring around. But I specifically wanted to say thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video because you guys know I love Casetify. I always have their cases on my phone and they're so protective because some of the shots that I take by the ocean, I just filmed balcony reel on my phone and this thing fell so many times recording that reel but my phone is always protective because i have this case on this is the one that i have on right now it's just this tortoiseshell one i've had this one on for quite some time i really like it i think it's nice and just neutral and cute and then i also have this magsafe wallet on it which i also really really like because i don't have to carry around a purse especially while traveling i always have a code with caseify if you guys want to check them out i'll have them linked in the top of the description box 15 percent off a new phone case and they have so many different options on the website. They have really simple ones like the one that I have on, but you can also fully customize if you wanna do your initials. You can even collage them with photos. I've been talking about doing that. I haven't done it yet. I like them because they're slim, but they're also protective. I feel like a lot of times with phone cases that are more protective, they're just so bulky and not cute, but I love that these are just cute cases to use. And they protect your phone from drops of up to 9.8 feet because it's made with a Chi Tech material that's going to protect your phone. They're also made with an antimicrobial coating that's gonna protect your phone from up to 99% of bacteria because these things hold a lot of just gross germs and everything. I mean, they're always in our hands. And yeah, I just wanted to share that because I feel like a lot of times when I make these videos, you would think I'm recording those clips with an actual camera, but I always do them on my phone. And it's nice that it's protective when I'm taking it around to the beach and everything. So yeah, I'll have Casefy linked down below if you guys want to check them out. You can visit casefy.com slash Michelle Reed to get 15% off a new phone case. I will have it linked at the top of the description box. You too. I'm excited to kick off everything. On Aiden's lunch break, we went and strolled by the Watch Hill Lighthouse. It's a really cute area. Very, very beautiful. It was also such a beautiful day. So we just went for a little walk. Aiden and I just went for a little walk during his lunch break. I think I'm gonna go to the beach and just read a little bit while Aiden is finishing work. And these are the swimsuits that I had brought. So I wanted to show you guys. This first one I've showed before, but it's from Aerie. Super cute, high-waisted. Really like the colors of this one. And then it just has one of these tops that twists. It's really cute, I really like that one. And then I just got this one as well from Aerie. It is a one piece and it's their kind of like crinkle material. This one is also super cute. I'm leaning towards actually wearing this today. I'm kind of feeling like wearing a one piece. When we travel, I always like to bring a couple of two pieces and then a couple of one pieces because you never know what you're going to be in the mood for. And then this one is that same crinkle material. I love Aerie swimsuits. I think they're the best for me personally in my body. This one is also the crinkle material. It just has normal bottoms. And then I also have this top to wear with those bottoms. It's a little bit off, but they pretty much match. And it is so cute. It's like one of these bandeau styles, but it almost looks like a bandana and then it ties. And then lastly, I just have this one piece that actually one of my subscribers sent me my PO box. She said it didn't fit her and it still had the tags on it. And so she asked if I wanted it. I said, of course, but this one is from Somersault and I love it. This one's just very comfortable, super flattering too. I really like this one. So I'm leaning towards wearing the green one. I ended up going with the one piece really like it. I think it's cute. This one's actually a long size, which is nice because it fits a little bit better than just the normal one, but I really like it. It's fun. Basically this whole trip, we went to East Beach at Watch Hill. This is a public beach and it wasn't even that crowded when we were there, which was really nice. I think because the water was pretty chilly. And then we went to St. Clair's to get ice cream because it was right across the street from us. But it is 
Saturday morning today. Last night we ended up hanging out with Aiden's grandma for a bit. We went over there for dinner. It was just sweet to get to see her. And now it's Saturday. It's so nice being out here because you can just hear the waves while I'm laying here. But it's a much more beautiful day today. It's sunny. And so I think we're gonna have a full on beach day today, which sounds great. It was also my brother-in-law's birthday yesterday. So we're gonna celebrate him today. He's coming in town. So it'll be nice, good to see everyone. It is about seven o'clock right now. It's 7.15, I'm just having a little bit of coffee before I head out on my run. I'm gonna go run for probably just three miles or so. I never really run on the beach and I kind of like the idea of doing it this morning because it's so nice. I feel like I don't normally work out on vacation like this, but And until we go to the beach, I think we're just gonna go for a walk and explore a little bit. So I just threw on this free people dress, which is so comfortable. I'm so happy I got this because it's a great cover up, but it's also a nice dress too. And I just threw on my sneakers. <laughs> So I have not vlogged for a little bit just because we ended up going to the beach and it's quite chilly actually, which is why I just threw on this sweatshirt I had gotten. It's just a Watch Hill sweatshirt and I also picked up these necklaces that are so cute. There's one that's just a shell. This one has a little sun on it, but I wanted to note that I ended up wearing this swimsuit instead. I think it's so cute. This was at a shop that's right by where we're staying, but I really like it. I like the colors in it. But yeah, it was nice to get to spend some time at the beach and now we're getting ready to go to dinner. We're celebrating my brother-in-law Ryan's birthday, so we're going to a restaurant nearby. I think it's the Mesquamacate Club, I'm pretty sure. I've gotten through some of my book that I brought and oh my goodness, it is so good. I think tonight I'm gonna try to finish it before bed. I'm gonna try to finish this before bed, but it's Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Oh my goodness. There's definitely a few parts that I just choose to skip over, some more adult content, but it is so good. I have a feeling it's gonna end really, really emotionally. And so I'm excited. I've been reading this on the beach and also just before bed and it is so good. I'd highly recommend it. It's a great read, but I will say it does have a few more explicit scenes in it. Still a good read though. I think this is the dress I'm gonna wear tonight. This is from my newly order. It's really cute though. It has a couple of slits on the side. I just need to iron it really quick. I'm gonna throw this on with, I think, some white little heels because it is a fancier restaurant. So here's what I'm for. I feel like this is definitely a Katie Bilotti dress. If you guys know Katie Bilotti on YouTube, I feel like this is something she'd wear, but I really like it. I think it's super cute. I wish I brought a more neutral bag instead of black, but we just have this one, so I'm gonna wear this. I also need to throw on some lip gloss and then good to go. On Sunday, we started the day off by going to Sift, which is a bakery. We probably went here maybe 20 times over the course of this trip. It's probably the only coffee shop in the area, but it's really, really good. They have great stuff. And then we just went for a walk, me, Aiden, and my mother-in-law. Sunday is currently Sunday morning. Last night was fun getting to see Aiden's grandma getting dinner. So far today we woke up went for a walk. It's actually really rainy and chilly. It was rainy earlier. Now I still think it's a little bit chilly, but it's not raining, which is good. And so I don't think we're going to go to the beach today, but maybe later. I really want to watch the sunset one night, so we might do that later. But I'm getting ready right now. It's about 11 o'clock. It's also Father's Day, so I need to call my dad for Father's Day too. I'm just finishing up my makeup and I think we're about to go get some lunch at, there's a place called St. Clair's that's right across the street from us. I hear that they have lobster rolls and I love lobster rolls and I love getting them when I'm up here in the north. So I think I might get one of those today. I wanted to note that it's crazy how much better I sleep on vacation being here. I feel like I've had such nice rest and I think it's because when you're on vacation, you're just so removed from all the responsibilities. It's easy just to get in bed. And I think the reading before bed has also been a game changer. And the other thing I wanted to say was I have been loving my haircut. So if you guys watched 
one of my recent vlogs i talked about how i recently got my hair cut and i got quite a few inches cut off just three inches or so but i got these face framing layers cut shorter in the front and i love the way it looks whenever i pull it through like bandanas like this or when i've been doing those little bubble braids i think it's so fun just to pull them out and i'm so happy i did that so if you're on the fence about layers I'd highly recommend it because I just think it adds like a cute little element. And then for today's outfit, my silk scarf is from Zara, so I can never find a link to it. I'll try to find one, but if I can't, I'll link something similar. Just tied that back in my hair. Same necklaces from earlier. And then this is the same shirt I was wearing earlier this week. It's just, again, a Zara linen top. And again, just my favorite little Urban Outfitters denim shorts. We had lunch at St. Clair's and I definitely got myself a lobster roll because you have to when you're in the Northeast. They're so good. We drove over to Stonington, Connecticut, which is a really, really cute town. A lot of the shops were closed when we were there, but it was still fun to just walk around and look at the boats and everything. bit later now i am currently alone at the house because i actually just called my dad for father's day i just did that but we ended up exploring stonington connecticut today which was so much fun it was such a cute little town and we didn't have a ton of time just because we were dropping off ryan at the train station but it was nice to get to walk around there i also think that we might try to watch the sunset again it's cloudy so i don't know it could be a great sunset because it's somewhat cloudy but it also could cover the sun completely so we'll see i just love watching watching sunsets and sunrises at the ocean. I just think it's so special. I would love to watch the sunrise, but the sunrise is here at, I think around 5.30, let me see. Which maybe one day I'll do it. No, it's at 5.15. So yeah, it's just kind of crazy how early that is, but we'll see. But yeah, I've just been hanging out. I think I might actually just do some work until they get back and then start helping with dinner and everything. And so much sunscreen on my face because i've been going ham on the sunscreen while we're here but it is monday morning i just went for a run which honestly wasn't that great it kind of turned into a run slash a walk at the same time so it is about 8 30 and it's a beautiful day today it's really the first fully sunny day we've had and so i think we're planning on doing a full beach day today which would be so nice to get to spend a whole day there and aiden has off today which is great so we're gonna do that and then i know we have a dinner later tonight with some of my mother-in-law's work friends so we're gonna go to that but for now actually just getting some work done because that's the thing with coming on these trips in the middle of the week there is still stuff that has to get done so i'm just out here on the deck getting some stuff done i want to upload a video that i finished editing already but i need to go ahead and upload it do all the settings for that and then just answer some emails and do random stuff like that and also when we go on these trips i really like to import the footage as the days go on because i get so nervous about losing my camera losing all the footage my phone crashing and everything getting deleted so i'm gonna go ahead and do that too Did this hairstyle i've been seeing this pretty much everywhere but it's basically where you just add a few small braids in your hair and i think it's so cute i just did three actually i did four i think yeah there's one back here too so i did one down here a couple here and then one here and i think it's super fun especially for the beach and then i'm just wearing this one suit that i had showed earlier that i didn't end up wearing
and I am just gonna keep on the dress that I wore earlier because it is a little bit chilly and I think this is outside. So this is just the same dress, my newly one. And then I just threw it on with my Dr. Scholl shoe. seven o'clock it's a bit too early to watch the sunrise here for me but i figured i could just come today instead of working out just come read my bible do my devotional here by the water it's so peaceful this is one of my favorite things to do whenever i'm close to the beach it's just to spend the morning here and read you guys know i read my utmost first highest i read this basically every morning anyways it's something just really special about doing it by the ocean i just love being by the ocean and i definitely feel God's presence a lot here, which is why it's just really sweet to get to come here and be quiet and start my morning this way. On another note, right over here, that's Taylor Swift's house, which I'm sure a lot of people know, but every time I come here, a lot of people message me and be like, you know, Taylor Swift has a house there. And it's just so funny because it's literally right there. is back at work so i'm just having kind of a day to myself i'm actually about to head to the beach with my mother-in-law and aiden's grandma we're just gonna go read down there because it's actually too chilly i put on the same swimsuit from earlier and then realized that it's 60 degrees so i'm probably not going to be swimming but i'm currently in our little closet space because i was putting away laundry and i wanted to share this this is such a random video to insert this into but i'm turning 24 on july 1st which is about a week from friday and ever since my 21st birthday i would say that this is when this started i started getting the birthday blues which i know are really common where you just get kind of like sad before your birthday or sad on your birthday and there's not really a reason why i'm not necessarily sad about getting older or sad about the feeling of when you want your birthday to be really hyped up but it actually isn't like i know that is how a lot of people feel i don't feel that way but for some reason i always get like this sort of nostalgia and sadness and it really started coming on i remember my 21st birthday in new york city this is the first time i really remember feeling this way and not having all those like warm and fuzzy feelings about your birthday and maybe it's just being in your 20s you start to feel this way but and i'm not a big birthday person like i don't love doing crazy things for my birthday i don't love having birthday parties like i never grew up really doing birthday parties or anything like that i'm just a very introverted person i think that's very apparent from my videos and i've always been that way even though i don't like to like label myself as certain things and i enjoy other people's company but I do also just really enjoy my alone time too. And so I'm just feeling kind of down today. I don't know why. And I think also the gloomy weather recently because it's been quite gloomy on this trip. It's been amazing I being by the beach. I'm not complaining at all. But for some reason, just the clouds, I feel like I'm so affected when there's not direct sunshine that I'm just feeling it today. Let me know if anyone else feels this way too. When it comes to your birthday, just feeling that way. And let me know what you think it is because I don't really know what it is, but I'm excited to be 24. I think 24 is a fun age, even though I also really liked 23 too, but I'm gonna go ahead and change and head to the beach. Today is Wednesday. We have a couple more days here left in Watch Hill. I haven't really vlogged a ton over the past couple of days just because it's honestly been quite rainy. So we've just been hanging out at home, doing stuff that's a bit more low key. But today, Aiden is actually working. He's working for the rest of the week, which I just wanted to say is a part of going on vacation while thankfully he's able to work from home on a lot of these trips. But just the reality, I feel like it looks really fun and exciting all the time but it's also a lot of having to work at the same time because that's just life and that's a reality so later this evening we're going to go to connecticut i think we're going to go back to stonington we explore there one day and grab dinner there which will be really good stonington's so cute and all the coastal towns here are just 
so cute with all the architecture and but we still have a few hours before then and while Aiden works I think I'm just gonna go for a walk I'm gonna grab we've been going to sift bakery nearby they have really great coffee and treats so I might just grab a latte I feel like when you're in your home and your environment there's just so much constantly to do and so much to think about and I've actually had a pretty slow work week this week which is nice but I feel like my body just doesn't know how to chill out so I'm trying to teach myself to chill out just go for a little walk listen to my podcast I'm just up from the beach right now. My mother-in-law and I just went and read on the beach. It's about like five o'clock, but it was so nice because there's hardly anyone there. But I'm headed back to go get ready because I always take a little bit longer than everyone. So I'm gonna get ready for dinner, but so beautiful. That sun coming in, it feels so good. This is always my favorite view of the ocean right here. It's so pretty. It just looks like the ocean goes on for miles and miles. It's so beautiful. I have to say that I have been digging these purple walls in this room. There's just something about it that I get a little serotonin boost every time I'm editing. Dinner tonight, I think I'm just gonna wear this skirt. This is from my newly order. It's just this wrap skirt, which again, I've been loving the color on this trip. I think it's really pretty and it's still gonna get a little bit chilly tonight. So I like that these are both knit pieces. And then I think I'm just gonna wear this Zara mock neck turtleneck on too. Let's go ahead and get ready. Okay, here's this one, and I like it, but I didn't realize the back. I just think in the back, it's kind of too revealing for a dinner with family. Not that anyone cares, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna try something different. So let's see what I can come up with. So I'm currently soaking up some porch time and also drinking coffee. This is like I mentioned in all my travel vlogs, like my favorite part about traveling. I always love drinking coffee outside on the porch, but I think this morning I'm gonna try to go for a run because I have not been feeling it lately, which is totally fine. But just because it is the last full day, I kind of want to get a little bit of exercise. So I'm gonna try to go for a run. And then after that, it'll probably be another beach day because it is just absolutely beautiful outside today. It feels really good. And then we're gonna go see Aiden's grandma again. currently running <laughs> and I was going down this one loop and I definitely just saw a coyote. <laughs> beach day I just finished getting ready I wanted to show my swimsuit because this one is one of my favorites but first I just did yet again another bubble braid I'm obsessed with the bubble braids I think that they're so fun ignore all of our stuff in the background this room has gotten quite messy but this is my swimsuit it's so cute it's bandana that just basically ties in the back but it's from Aerie I think it's so fun. I'm just wearing my denim shorts and then I just have on those floral bottoms that I wore earlier, but this is so cute. It's from Aerie. It is a little bit hard to keep up. So I wouldn't say this is a great swimming swimsuit, but if you're just tanning, I think it's so cute. And again, you can wear this as a top if you wanted to. Really? over to Aiden's grandma's house for dinner, which was really nice, but we actually fly home tomorrow. Although this has been such a great vacation, it's always nice to get to come and visit. I am so excited to go home and see Cash. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen him. It's been a little bit over a week, but yeah, having a dog just always makes vacations ending a little bit better because it's so nice to go home to your dog, even though I'm so thankful my family's in Texas, so they're able to watch him. But Aiden's getting ready for bed, and I think we're gonna head to bed a little bit earlier just for our flight tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll try to link everything I can down below that I mentioned. And if you want to check out Caseify, I'll have them linked in the top of the description box. You can visit caseify.com slash Michelle Reed to get 15% off a new phone case. And yeah, I'm so thankful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little travel vlog. I know it was kind of mismatched and all over the place, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.